Welcome back everybody, Twitch367 here, and today we're going to continue with episode 5 of our Divine Journey uh, 2 series here on the channel. Once again, if you guys want to interact with me or any of the other members of the Discord, take a peek at the Discord link in the description. While you're down there, take a peek at all the other social media links, including the 10% off W link. Helps me out, helps out the company, and it's a great thing to do. Uh, that being said, we are literally picking up right from last episode. Um, quick recap, we made a smeltery, just a little uh, one there. Uh, and then got some alamite. We uh, used that for our pickaxe and our longsword. Uh, so we are kind of in better shape now. Um, I haven't really done anything between episodes besides clear out our inventory, but that's really about it. I do want to go set up a basic farm real quick. Um, just because running out of food is gonna struggle this whole series so far so in or I could just harvest my berries yeah, I think we might be good I don't think we need a farm right now could always set something up right here Maybe even clear out the edges a little bit more. And we do have another torch. I'll place the torch in that back corner. Maybe grow some like wheat, potato, carrot. Little something, you know. Okay, so basic farm, check. Uh, there we go. Uh, we were going to start working on this totem whittling knife. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need is a block of iron. Um, best way to do that, just go ahead and hit up the uh, smeltery. Um, and I also need two blocks of copper so let's go ahead and uh, grab a little bit of copper real quick too <clears throat> just realized we're gonna need our ingot cast and it's the okay that's what really gives us the timer and stuff Oh, and I just realized we can make obsidian gear. I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer. <clears throat> Sorry. And boots. All right. Uh, I would rather have the slime balls, thank you. Or was gunpowder the better choice? Gunpowder was the better choice. I have. Oh well. Oh well. Well, that's for experience storage. We'll have to get that soon. I don't need drawer upgrades right now. I want. This. I need two logs. That's a double compressed obsidian. Wow. That used up a lot of our uh, obsidian. All right, toss that in there. Um, let's also set iron to the bottom. Totally messed that up. It's all right, I can fix it, I can fix it. I believe I'm allowed to melt this back down. At 
leave. That looks like it. And then this will give us the opportunity to make our first totems, uh, which I'll probably build a couple up on the platform so that we have something uh, within our little radius that we get. We just need nine pieces of iron. And I'll end up getting this all emptied out between episodes too. I'm not really worried about it right now. It's just a very nice uh, early or uh, doubling. Okay, so we don't even have a crafting table down here. This I'm going to need 18. This is 4. I guess I could just... And then after that I think we have everything we need for our uh our whittling knife I should set a waypoint for our house to I'll do that when we go back upstairs almost there Or more. All right, and there we go. Let's uh, head back up. Let's go ahead and uh, make a waypoint up here too. Home base. We'll change the color. There we go. A block of iron. Two blocks of copper. And there's our first trophy. I say this does kind of. Break the little fourth wall a bit there. Alright, let's uh, just pop it there. So it'll show you, completed it June 3rd at 1.41 a.m. Hey, yes, it's uh, pretty early in the morning. Um, or I guess late at night. Okay, eat my raspberries. All right, they gave them gave us our totempedia. Uh, this will to tell me like the uh, different things in here. Totems in effect, totem poles. That's the basic recipe. Totem effects, the bat negates fall damage and lets you jump further when sneak in midair. Blaze gives fire resistance. Blah blah. Find faster. So all in all, not terrible. Um, I'll put that just in there for now. We'll have to give it a closer look um, here. I guess immediately, because next is going to be starting. Um, yep, you can use your totem whittling knife on any vanilla log block to transform it into a totem base. Um, 
I'm gonna be six blocks high, including the base. Okay, so. That gives me an Akashic Tome. I will gladly accept that. An empty Akashic Tome. Can I add the welcome book to it? Now. Figured as it, it was worth a try. Okay, so it's gonna want me to make some drums. It's gonna be treated leather, so then we're gonna need leather. Um, I'm gonna kind of take a second real quick because I wouldn't mind setting up one, two, three, four, five. Six. Need to add another one to that. Two, three, four, five, six. And this corner. Grab our whittling knife. So start each of them with the base. And then if I come in here, I can select our book and it tells me that the bat negates fall damage. So if we scroll, I'm going to put the bat on each of the four posts. Uh, fire resistance don't really need. We don't need to mine faster at the moment. Gives resistance to damage, but also slows down. We don't need that. Night vision was eh. Horse gives speed. Pig brings good luck. I'm not worried about what way these are facing at the moment. We can always change it out later. Um, what else do we got? Good luck. Jump boost. Don't need water breathing. I have what? How many slots do I have left? Two. So strength would be good. Do I want jump boost or do I want to climb walls? Go oh, wolf. And spider. Awesome. Like I said, I'm not worried about how they look at the moment. Uh, I can always change them out, make them look different, um, rotate them how I want them. It's perfect. There are quite a few cows here. Let's make a little hole just to dump cows into. Just because I can climb out.
Or at least I could make another totem over here so that I could climb out. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make another totem just right here. Doesn't have to be anything special. Um, let's go with the totem base. And then we need the spider. And I guess I'll put a bat on there too. Perfect. So let's grab some wheat if I have it and lure some cows over. Like I'm just in luck. Come on over here. Come on down, Mr. Cow. Thank you. Come on, cows. I do want to set up like an actual permanent spot for uh, like our totem area and everything because we're going to have to put on a few different rituals using instruments and everything else. Um, I'll have to, have to plan it out. Perfect, you guys are all in here, five cows so far. I just want to grab a torch from somewhere that's not really necessary at the moment. So let's pop down into our mine. I don't think I really need that one there. I just want a torch on top of the totem. I need to build a bigger wheat farm too then. Okay. Got some more potatoes. Raspberries are kind of lacking at the moment again, but hey, what are you going to do? I'm at least eating. What do we got next? So I have some cows set up. Yeah, that's going to be what it wants me to really start with is getting uh, a couple more blocks of copper too. Wow. Treated leather. I wouldn't mind just random teleporting and looking for some cows. Yeah, we're way up here. Could also add an Enderman totem here and there too for night vision let's just kill some right, those are demon chickens Lots and lots of zombies, too. Oh, 
All right, there we go. I could also take a peek and see if there's another way to make leather. I got a rotten flesh or something. Don't want to do with creepers or skeletons. Got some sheep over here though. I'll take all of your wool. All of your meat too. Don't want to eat the chicken just because. Well, uh, essentially make me hungry. One of those. Do we dare go down? Ah, a terrible idea if I can get down safely. It's just a matter of getting down safely. That and dig over. Owl. Give me an owl's wing. My target's over here, though. Not sure what I got attacked by, but ouch. Half a heart. Uh, let's just teleport back home. Couldn't find leather, that's fine. That is fine. Um, besides, I want to see if there's a way to make leather anyway. Get rid of you. Uh, let's open up you. Pelt, rabbit hide, mushroom hide, imp leather, buffalo hide, werewolf fur, smelting up leather armor. Yep. I mean, what's it take to make a drying basin? Dark steel. I mean, if I dry food... But it has to be cooked food. That's honestly kind of worth it. And that's just slabs. Uh, let's space this one out. Alright, let's get that cooked up.
think I'll cook up the chicken next. This way I have something to eat. And then I need two blocks of copper. I didn't think we had any more copper in there. <clears throat> first batch it's gonna take a long time so I'll probably start working on these uh, between episodes and including cleaning out the smeltery but this is gonna end up being our last one for this recording session because this is already like episode 5 I believe so three videos in this session not bad there's more food. Those will be for the drying racks when those are done. Let's toss the chicken in with a piece of coal. Uh, Inferium essence can go in here. Oh, let's swing. Okay, so cooked chicken, perfect. I could also just get rid of that cow. He's not doing anything for me anyway. We already have seven pieces of leather. We do need lime dye though. Okay, so how are we going to go about getting lime dye? Well, we do have some cactus. And I do have some bone meal. Or bones, at least. Now cook up that raw beef next too. Okay, and one more. And then I need six pieces of flint, six pieces of leather, and six buckets of water. Uh, you know what I don't have down there though? Crafting table. Let's just take this one for now. Come on, there we go. Plop that over there, grab the wheat. And honestly, the treated leather is pretty smoothly, might add. Okay, so we got our six treated leather. Not, not gonna have enough time. I, uh, you know what? I think we'll go ahead and make the two drums, and then I will wrap it up there. Then probably between episodes, since I'll have quite a bit of time before I need to record this next time, uh, I'll start putting the. Uh, stuff kind of more in permanent homes like finish making our uh little togetum totem area togemic whatever it's called totemic uh so we'll place our like little totemic area 
wherever I decide to place it. Um, I'll probably start working on digging into that mountain, uh, moving our farm into a more permanent spot, smeltery into a permanent spot, um, our berries in a permanent spot, and of course increasing our uh, berry farm altogether, just because this is just a start. Um, and I do want to go get the other berries so that we can make the berry medley and even get a little bit more bang for our buck. Almost there. And one more piece. There, we should be able to make two of these and then let's go grab our logs. Well, of course, bringing our uh, crafting station back upstairs. Uh, some logs. Grab logs. And there we go, that's two. And that just tells me all about it. I'm gonna take the eggs, hopefully get a chicken, and then it wants me to kind of make some uh, different instruments. Uh, so that'll be kind of what we start working on here in the next few episodes. Ooh, that actually takes bronze. We're gonna need leaves too. That'll give me a totemic staff. Yeah, so we'll end up kind of coming through. Uh, but with that, hope you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next episode. See ya.